but I have. My eyelids hang heavily after another night of getting little sleep. I couldn't stop questioning myself. Kenta is part of both worlds. Why can't I be? He isn't a royal. Besides, you heard Ryu earlier this week. Kenta is planning on ditching you. The only reason he is bothering to help you is because you are his master. Kenta isn't like that. He's my friend. A paid friend. This is... not... happy. On and on, all night. No matter how hard they fought in my head, neither could come up with an answer. I should have been focusing on cakes. That's the contest. That's the objective. Beat Ryu. Prove Kichiro wrong. Victory for me. But then what? Go back home to the status quo? Go back to a bunch of half-hearted competitions and living in the Imperial Library? I'll be without Kenta. Life will be just back to the way it used to be when he wasn't there very often. Just me and my books for hours and hours. I don't know if I can take that unending quiet again. Even if I did, even if I keep training myself to be the best, Brother will always be the crown prince. He'll be the next emperor. I'll just be... I've always shoved the idea out of my head with ease, but now it refuses to leave me alone. At best, I'll just be a minor figure in the court. I'll be a disposable princess. Getting into the existential crisis. That is unacceptable. I have to be the best. But I can never be the best royal. Unless my brother is out of the way, which is just awful to think about. He annoys me, but I love my brother. I never th thought about it before. I always thought, just win the competitions, I would always be fine. I just don't get it. Don't get what? Life. Anything I can help with? Friendship, please. I want to dismiss him without a second thought, but perhaps he might have some insight I lack. I've been training all my life to be the best at everything I do. Perfection is my goal, but when I think about the end destination, I don't see anything through the haze. Do you see yourself being happy? Could I ever be happy with being a minor noble? A plaything for brother's ambitions? No. I'm the best. I refuse to be anyone's pawn. But what do I do with my future? Ryu, when you graduate, what are you going to do? I'm going to study political science at a university. I'm aiming to have a job in the interior ministry one day. You're no help. you just be my minion. That's no solution for me. But I'm not aiming for power for myself, unlike you. I need power to help those I care about. I want to help the people of your nation. How noble of you. Oh, okay. Huh? To protect my family. That's why I pour over my books. I have to be the best so no one can ever hurt them. Is this a history that we didn't hear about in your own route? In case you haven't noticed, my brother has his own protection. Do you have someone you care about? Something you care about? Myself, I care about being the best. Ari, you know that's not your answer. And that's why you will never be the best. What do you mean? Those who can't stand for anything will fall for everything. Oh yeah, that line, uh-huh. I want to snap at him, but... I'm... Ari? Who? Who can I protect? Who is worth fighting for? My brother has the power to protect the people. Who do I have the power to protect? Ryu, you've known Kenta for a long time, right? I have. So have you. But he never told me that he was planning on leaving me. Who do you think he is trying to get power to protect? Kenta might not always think things through, but I know there is something he cares about more than anything. 
That basketball? Oh, Ari, you're adorable. He always said you missed the obvious. How can I miss the obvious? It's basketball. Even at the palace, we always play basketball more than anything. So close, yet so far away. Tried so hard, got so far, but in the end it didn't even matter. Stop looking so smug! Why don't you ask him, Ari? Maybe I will. Then go do it. You've got plenty of lunchtime left. Aw, I like them as bros, too. I start to storm out of the room when I remember something I wanted to ask first. Ryu, you don't mind if Kenta helps me cook, do you? Don't worry, I can still beat you despite that advantage. Thanks, Ryu. I await the results of your labors. Kanta always hides in the back of the library back home. I hope he hasn't changed his eating habits. Hey, Ari. Kenta, I need you to do something for me. Anything. Didn't you bring your lunch? I packed an extra for you. This is more important than lunch. I need your help. Ari, you've taken such a big step. I'm so proud of you. You're growing up. My little baby Ari is growing up. Kenta, I need your help. What? I tried cooking last night and ended up melting the pot. I couldn't make the beans into any sort of paste. Could you please, please help me make something decent? What? Stop saying that! You, you, you're, you're asking for my help? Is that strange? Yeah, I think it might be the first time ever. Nuh-uh, remember when we were planting tulips? You ordered me to till the soil while you studied a beetle you found. Designing that dress for Madame Gisset. You handed me a pencil sketch and said I wasn't getting dinner if I didn't make it in an hour. Teaching me basketball! I barely made it back with a rule book before you wandered off to read up on football. You make it sound like I've been abusing you. Well... Kenta! I had fun spending time with you, so it was okay. Besides, you're the idea person. I'm the manual labor. Aw, oh, blushy blushy. Yeah. We're a team. Then why are you leaving? So, meet me in front of the school tonight. I want to walk home and discuss what recipes we're going to try before we start. Sounds awesome. I need to head back to class. Want the lunch? It's three bean casserole. Ew! Too bad. See ya. He walks away. But the dark feelings in my heart haven't dissipated. How am I supposed to ask him what he's trying to protect? Why he isn't going to stay my servant forever? How do I ask those questions? I should just be blunt and direct, but I'm scared of the answers. I don't want to know them. I don't want to risk things changing. Everything is already changing. This is a very nice stock of ingredients, Ari. Of course. I guess stopping by the store on the way back was a waste of time. Oh well. Not entirely. I didn't know that evaporated milk is actually powdered, so illogical. I bet those beans smell wonderful. Yep, they'll make the best chocolate ever. <laughs> no doubt. So. Which recipe should we start with? I was thinking... I want this one! Chocolate tort? Yes! That's right. Chocolate tort. You are going to be made and eaten by me. No escape. You certainly have a sweet tooth, Ari. No, this is about revenge. I refuse to be bested by a cake. Never give up? That's right. You can't give up no matter how dark it may look. Yeah. I think you're talking about something a little different, boy. 
Kenta? I'm waiting for him to take the recipe from me. But he's just staring into space with a sad, forlorn look on his face. Even though they're looking at me, those soft violet eyes are staring past me to some unseen destination. Some dark place that I can't touch. Come on, pay attention! Sorry. Slowly, he seems to be focusing back on me. But the wanton smile is so out of place on his normally cheery, happy face. I don't like it. The darkness in his eyes is bringing back thoughts of our future. If there is such a thing anymore... No, I refuse to think about it. Don't look so depressed. We're going to make the best cake ever and have fun doing it. You can't make a good cake with pain. Who says? I don't know. I read it in a book somewhere. Just no sadness, okay? <laughs> All right, Ari. Let's get to work. Don't let the darkness in, Ari. Focus. Put your heart and mind into this and it will all be wonderful. What if we add powdered milk to the batter mix in addition to the topping? We tried that combo already. It made the batter taste strange. Was it the boiled batter or the one with the chives put in? Oh my god, Ari, this is not how you make a cake. <laughs> this is not- you don't put chives in cakes, dear. Both, I think. Should we just save it for another test recipe? We're out of the most main ingredients. You might as well just play around with it for the topping. I can play around with it. Have some fun. Go for it. Well, I've already finished all my testing with the powdered milk. Would you be so kind and take it off my hands? Sh sure. Alrighty, here you go. Food fight! <laughs> 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 what was that? Hey, what was that for? <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. It was priceless. Hmm. You jumped so hard you nearly hit the roof. <laughs> did I? I didn't think so. <laughs> you did! You're all wet and panicked! It was so funny. Seeing your smile is the most priceless part. Smooth. But want to see something even funnier? Is there such a thing? Totally. All right. Are you absolutely sure? Your joke won't be nearly as fun, but I still want to hear it. Positive. Mm-hmm. Here it goes. <laughs> Ari Cake. Hey! You should see the look on your face. A joke isn't funny the second time. I think it's pretty darn funny. Remind me that we need to train your sense of humor and cooking skills. I guess I just take after my mistress. I'm just going to ignore that. After nearly 30 minutes of scrubbing, I finally get all the chocolate goop out of my hair. At least you cleaned up the kitchen. Yeah, you're not mad at me still, are you? Fuming, but I can take a joke too. It was pretty funny. It should be. It started out as my joke. I guess I just can't keep up with you, Ari. Oh no, we're getting into the sads. Is that why you're leaving? Painful thought I can't let slip in my mind. Slips from my mouth. No matter how happy I am now, it isn't going to last forever. It'll be nothing more than a fleeting laugh. Something like that. Something? Yeah. Something. Kenta, you're my best friend. Don't I deserve that much? You are a princess, Ari. You deserve so much more. His hand ruffles my hair as he tries to maintain that air of lightheartedness. He tries to calm that budding fear and growing anger in my heart. I just want the truth. You've always been there for me, through thick and thin, through light and dark. Why can't you be honest with me and just say what's bothering you? Because you're bothering me. 
That's rude. Sorry, that, that came out wrong. You always screw up when you try to be fancy and uh, elaborate. I don't want that. I want it in Kenta's words. Don't you see? If I can't say it like that, it only proves why I have to leave even more. You don't! Ari, you're beautiful. You're charming. When I see you smile, it lifts my heart into the sky. Seeing you laugh warms every recess of my heart. Ever since I met you so many years ago, I've never wanted anything more than to be by your side. Then don't leave! My voice cracks as I try to bite back the words. He's such an idiot! If he loves seeing me happy, why is he tearing my heart apart? We're a team! Brains and brawn! Didn't you have fun today? Didn't you have fun this week? I have, Ari, but when we grow up, it'll have to end. Ladies cannot be friends with the servants. They barely tolerate it now. Who cares what they think? You do. You always wanted to be the best. Sacrifices must be made. So you have to be the sacrifice? That's why I have to leave now. Your father will soon be looking for some foreign prince to give your hand to. And I don't think my heart could take it. No. That's why I have to leave now. Maybe if I work hard enough, become famous enough, your father might consider me acceptable. And what about my feelings? What about what I want to do? What do you want? There's little I can discern in my head and heart right now. Between the mess of whatever I'm going to do with my future and contests I fear I'm going to lose, there's only one thing shining through without question. I don't want you to leave. Kenta leans over and kisses me softly on the cheek. My torn heart is being ripped in two as he keeps talking. I love you, Ari. That's why I have to leave. I'll see you tomorrow at school. And just like that, he's gone. The warmth of his lips still radiates from my cheek, but the rest of my body has gone frigid in fright. Just like that, Tomorrow, he could disappear just like that. There are other servants who take his place, but nobody could take his place in my heart. We're a team. Even here, when I should be alone, I secretly knew that I could always count on him. We're a team. Never once did I think that would ever change. The agony in my heart overpowers my remaining mental barriers, as the tears I fought now flow from my eyes. No, no, no! My first kiss. I always pictured it being a happy moment, joy overflowing in my heart, something passionate. Why does it have to turn out like this? Kenta, I... I love you too. I wipe the tears from my eyes. I love him. I don't want to lose him. This is a contest, Ari. You versus the world. If everyone thinks that a princess can't love her butler, then you have to prove them wrong. But how? It doesn't matter. I can't lose Kenta. I can't let his heart suffer like mine is. I want to protect him. answer Ryu. I think I have my answer. But as the contest kicks off, I'm running short on time and still not having any brilliant ideas. 
And now you add the eggs. Uh-huh. And the milk. Uh-huh. And flour. Uh-huh. Are you all right, Ari? I've never seen you so deadpan during one of your contests. I'm sorry, I've just been thinking about last night. Don't. There's nothing either of us can do, so just enjoy the time we have together. I am enjoying the time. Then let's beat him. Yeah. Go team. Yeah. I shouldn't have told you that yesterday. Yeah, I'm... No! I'm glad you told me. It's just going to hurt you more. If you keep sounding so fatalistic, I'm going to be forced to take drastic measures. My hand drops for the can of powdered milk as his goes for the beater with chocolate batter all over it. And if you don't focus, so will I. It seems we have a showdown. Your draw isn't nearly fast enough. Nor is yours. Please don't make a mess. Hey, Ri, what's up? Come to admit defeat? Hardly. I was just curious when you two were going to finish up yours. We're almost done, don't worry. We'll have something tasty to try as well. I rub Kenta's arm and yank him close to me. We made it together. There's no way it's going to lose. That's right. I eagerly await your results. Let's finish up quickly. I don't want to be too far behind him. Sure. Then we can go play some basketball while it cooks. It'll be fun. Oh, no. Are you leaving, like, now? Kenta, come on. Right? Yeah. I'm running out of time. We both know it. I'm fighting time before we head back to the palace and part ways. And I'm losing. I grab one of the slightly flat basketballs out of the bin and dribble it over to a gloomy Kenta. So what's the game? I don't think I want to play. Scared of being beat again? If I remember, I was the one who won last game. Then I demand a rematch. I think I'm going to head back. Why? We still have an hour before the cake is done. No, I mean, back to the palace. Again? Why? Because goodbye is just too hard to say. Then don't say it. I'm trying to act nonchalant, like he isn't going to walk out of my life, probably forever. I can't... But I must. Ari, I know your brother explained it to you. He promised me he would. A princess and a servant can never be together. But... I... I'm sorry, my lady. G good... Goodbye. And just like that, he's walking out. My best friend. My most loyal companion. All because I could never see a day when he might not be there. When I might have to survive on my own. My knuckles are white as I clutch the ball, trying to focus the swirling emotions in the pool of my heart. I've won all these pointless contests, but I can't win the first one I truly care about. Brother, I don't think I can survive in the outside world. Not without Kenta beside me. Could that be what he wanted to tell me? <laughs> well, that's one way to get his attention. <laughs> With a mighty wind-up, I chuck the ball as hard as I can at the back of the fleeting Kenta's head. <laughs> what was that for? It's Ari, you idiot, not my lady. That's the future. But it isn't now. 
I storm over and pull him close to me. My heart can't decide if it wants to stop in amazement or beat so fast it'll break out of my chest. I think butterflies must have slipped into my stomach, but I'm not backing down. I want to win this contest. I'm not losing the guy I care about to a fate not of my choosing. Kenta, you're right. A princess and a servant can't be together. Then why? But we're just two high school students, stupid. Can't we be in love? Students? There's never been a challenge that we couldn't overcome together, Kenta. If it means telling my brother I'm not coming home, then it's a challenge I'll take without hesitation. You do that for me? We're a team! I never want to lose that! Ari... I love you, Kenta. I'm not letting you go. I'll never leave your side, my lady. Ari! <laughs> Ari, I love you. I love you, Kenta. Aww. The end. Oh, that was really cute. <laughs> well, guys, that was Pyrite Heart. Huh, what a good game. That was a pretty good story. I was honestly not expecting it to be that good, but I did genuinely enjoy it. And as bratty as Ari is, <sighs> she's my favorite. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Thank you! That's the end of the series. Oh, we finished the game. Well, that was Pirate Heart. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!